Okay, remember that they are changing my voice. Now to understand what's going on here, you have to understand what a conservative is. We live on a conservative planet. Bear with me now. Bear with me. There's a lot of racist white people who have a long history of playing stupid about this. Racist Jews, racist LGBT people, token minorities helping them. Bear with me, you'll see that I'm right. First, let's start with the plantation. Okay. On the plantation, there was people who were trying to conserve white supremacy, and the people who didn't want it didn't have any power, right? They were black people, they were enslaved, what have you. Okay. And there was some uh, abolitionists here and there, but they didn't have a lot of power. Things haven't changed very much, right? It's the modern day plantation. <clears throat> okay, so I was fumed and it kind of interrupted and that goes back to the purpose of this playlist is to explain that they're fuming me and making it harder for me to explain. Okay, so things haven't changed very much. Now, you had parties like the Whig Party and the Democratic Republicans. That was a party, okay, in America. They were a conservative party by all uh, intents and purposes in terms of trying to preserve customs and values. They differed with the Whigs and other parties in regards to what form of white supremacy, what form of conservative white supremacy um, they were trying to uphold. And they do all kinds of funny stuff and there's propaganda and what have you. Now, what happens is the party splits, right? It's a conservative party, right? It's just for a white supremacy based on behalf of the wealthy landowners, you know, uh, conservative state, right? It's a pr promoting party. And so it splits. And at one point, the Democratic Party has the Klan in it. And then the Klan switches over to the Republican Party. And that's an interesting story for another day. I want to, you know, bore you with history and... There's a lot of details that I don't know off the top of my head. But anyway, so the what, what basically happens is, you know, you have two conservative parties. Bear with me now. Bear with me. The Democratic Party is actually, when it comes to what it's trying to do, what it's trying to do, a conservative party as well. Every party that's in, in the running at all is a conservative party. Independents are, are independents on behalf of the white power structure. Now, some of you are smart enough to have looked at the screen by now and to see that I'm right. Because it's not as simple as whether you call yourself a liberal. Someone could, in, in a war could put on your uniform and call themselves a soldier from your army. That doesn't mean they are. Okay? A conservative is a conformist. And they conform to trickle down white supremacy. And they want to preserve white supremacy. There's different ways that they try to do that. On the left, they come up with policies that do not make sense. Okay? They do not make sense for the most part. Why? Because it helps conservatives on the right say, hey, that's what happens when you try to change things. When you look at the Freemasons and the English royals and the corporations and the corporate partnerships and the suits and how they meet and how they, they it's part of a long standing custom and tradition that goes back to Rome and probably before where they had corporations in Rome so they're conserving kind of neo-Roman uh, white supremacy white Jewish and LGBT supremacy one in ten uh, Roman citizens were Jews and there was a lot of LGBT people in Rome okay so by now you should firmly understand why it's a conservative state again if you don't understand still it's because the English royals, right, the European royals, okay, the corporations, the Freemasons, they're guys in suits. Every once in a while some guy has a bow tie, but so what? They're, that's just a game they're playing to make you think that you have power. If it wasn't a conservative state, okay, we'd have sound liberal pr pr processes and programs. Because if you do not have sound liberal agendas, programs, tax rates, policies, etc. in blue states and every chance they get to pass something like that, okay, then you're not going to prove conservatism wrong. And the state is trying to prove, the state is trying to make it seem like white supremacy is magically right. That's what they're trying to prove. Okay, think about, you know, Antifa and woke. Okay, think about the far right, Proud Boys. Proud Boys, in a sense, 
in a sense, they're, they're, they're approaching liberal. Why? Because they want dramatic change right away. Where a conservative says, let's just take it slow and focus on white supremacy and, 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 and you know, they want you to keep white supremacy in power and so on and so forth. That's, that's a liberal, excuse me, that's a conservative's attitude. The conservative is the one who says, hey, let's harass the black person because he's trying to make change. So why are both parties in a blue state, okay, playing stupid about the organized harassment that's taking place? Because it's a conservative state. It's not an abolitionist that means, well, teaming up with disenfranchised people and poor white people are disillusioned with white supremacy. That's not the state. The state is a bunch of corporations and royals okay, and church people and people like this that come together to oppress people and try to conserve and preserve their power. OK, that's what a conservative is. So when you see liberal so-called Democratic politicians, they're conservatives. And there's there's token minorities like Obama and Kamala Harris. That's all that is. The system is failed. Because they uphold white, Jewish, and LGBT supremacy. That's why you see these people on the news who are whites and Jews and LGBT and token minorities who go on and on about how, you know, they can't draw into question our system. No. And they say things like this. Because they're trying to maintain white, Jewish, and LGBT supremacy. And that is conservatism. Now, I'm, I'm not a conservative. And in the political sense of being a liberal, I'm not that. But in the textbook definition, when it's shortened, okay, in a broad sense, I am that because the only chance you have to make a good place, a better world, is to change the world, to reduce or remove the power of the governing class, be they nationalists or globalists. They're all conservatives in their own way. Pretty straightforward, right? If you have any questions, put in the comments. But I promise you, from years and years of studying this, you live on a conservative planet in terms of the textbook definition, okay? And liberal, the so-called liberals you see in politics are just bootlicking cowards who are helping them do it. They're helping conserve the power of the rich, which is the core tenet of conservatism. They are conformists. They maintain the rules and customs and traditions of the rich. Okay? And they don't actually intend to help the poor, be they poor white people or otherwise. A cons that's why the color of the Republican Party is the color of the devil, red. Okay, The color of the Democratic Party is not yellow and light blue. And if it was, it would just be a ruse because yellow and light blue is the color of God. Yellow, light blue, and white. Okay, Not for white supremacy, but for the morning light. For, for the stars and the, and the heavens and so on and so forth, the clouds, what have you. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. Red is for bloodshed and putting your flesh and blood before what's right and stuff like this. Red is for the color of evils for the devil. Okay, and this doesn't necessarily apply to gangs. That's a whole nother story for another day. Okay, both the Crips and the Bloods and Nortanos and Serenos and, and Latin Kings and, and Gangster Disciples, these are all bad guys. Every group that's allowed to really proliferate is clearly wrong, okay? But it is a conservative state, okay? It is a conservative planet, and Satan is said to be the god of this world. Conservatism is evil. It is Satanism. It's a conservative state and planet, and Satan is the god of this world in terms of, you know, on that level of it, and God's really in charge on the highest level. If you don't know that I'm right, then you are fucking crazy. And I'm probably the best person who can help you, so discuss it for, with me in the comments. And that's also other people can see what we're saying. So it's not like I'm brainwashing you or something. Okay, you're discussing it publicly with me in a way that there's a record of it. Okay, really quickly, notice the Wikipedia definition, right? It's a cultural, social, and political philosophy and ideology which promotes traditional values and wants people to conform, okay? They're adverse to change. So liberals are in the, you know, excuse me, Democrats are in the closet, conservatives, okay, who do things in a way to reinforce the conservative propaganda of the elite, okay? These people come from old money, conservative. They're in corporate partnerships that trace their roots to Rome, conservative. 
So let's so we see dictionary.com and Cambridge, they agree that it's a person who doesn't want change. He's reluctant to consider new ideas. When 9 million people are starving to death on the planet, okay, people are being beaten and raped all the time. There's all this drugs and all these problems, okay? And a conservative refuses to consider change. He says this political system's broken. And the history of America and the, and the West is very bad. You know, the history of Europe, there's a lot of feudalism, a lot of rape and murder, a lot of Roman treachery, a lot of piracy, a lot of barbarism. And therefore, the answers do not lie in white culture. The answers lie in universal moral culture. And they keep going, no, 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 white culture, white supremacy, in their own way on a spectrum. Okay, then that's fucking evil. I should have to explain that to people. I'm part white, and I can assure you, every white person with sense would agree with me, that when you take that stance, it's fucking evil. You have to look outside of white culture, outside of the white race, to universal moral precision, or else you're evil. Whether you call yourself a Democrat, Green Party, Republican, Libertarian, Independent, okay, if you don't look at change as morally precise and logical change and fair and just and right, and that that is the only thing you should be advocating for, then you are fucking evil evil okay so i don't want you to make the mistake of thinking that free enterprise is something that magically only conservatives uh, advocate for that's not the case okay liberals more often than not advocate for free enterprise and private ownership okay so there's a conservative as opposed to a communist and there's a conservative as opposed to a liberal it's not the same thing. A liberal is not the same thing as a communist, which is one of the major misunderstandings we see in politics. <clears throat> Excuse me, they're fuming a lot here. Is that a liberal, okay, is someone who wants freedom. Matter of fact, I'm going to put that on the screen, okay. And a conservative is somebody who kisses the empire's ass. So if this was Star Wars, right, you know, Basically, the Democrats and Republicans would both be working for the empire. And then there'd be rebels who are liberals, okay, who are saying, hey, we want to be free. We want to make things fair and just and right, okay? They're true liberals because a true liberal has an open mind and is reasonable. They're going to be able to be convinced to do the right thing, okay? So the reason why the world failed is because people are conservatives. Not because people are exchanging ideas and they have individual rights and so on and so forth. The conservative opposes individual rights when you look at the dictionary definition because they're conforming to the central government, right? The Democratic Republican Party, for example, was for central government powers. The Federalist Party wanted more states' rights, you know, region rights, based on the white supremacists who lived there. So it's the white supremacists who wanted central government power versus the white supremacists who wanted regional power, okay? And they were all, like, a lot of them were Freemasons, they were business partners, they were from the same families, and so on and so forth, right? So it was all a ruse back then as well. The, you know, and whoever won was just reinforcing the central elite, uh, especially European elitist abroad, okay? In fact, the Revolutionary War wasn't what you think it was. And that's a story for another day. To make a long story short... There's a reason why Benjamin Franklin was a Freemason and he was kissing the ass of the English elite. Okay. So, know for sure that they're trying to confuse you and to make it, they're trying to simplify it. Say a, conserv a Republican might argue, okay, this is what they might argue, not me, that Democrats want big government and they want to take away your rights and conservatives want states' rights and that magically conservative states are better. There's some truth to the idea that conservative states are better. It's a story for another day why that is. It's part of the confusion game they're playing. But it's not that simple. They both reinforce the elite. Some of them just try to reinforce the elite based on, you know, the argument of the people who reinforce the elite in any individual state like Texas, you know, having more power versus the central government that reinforces the elite having more power. So they're all conserving the power of the elite. 